<sighs> what is up everybody? It's your boy here. Um So I've got some not so great news. Yeah, I don't know how bad it looks on camera, but it's it's pretty bad. Um Can't even open this got well I can just <laughs> um yeah so she's fucked um i'm gonna try and repair it over the next few months um it's not gonna be a fast project because i'm gonna need all new uh fender bonnet light front bumper i'm gonna have to straighten a few things up underneath i hit a roo last night coming home from work um there's a bloody decent size roo I don't know how bad it looks on camera, but it's bad. Like, you know, it's bent all all under here, all behind here. Um, unfortunately, I'm not bloody in, insured. I'm third-party insured, but not comprehensive. So, you know, it's not like I can go to insurance or anything because um, I don't fucking have it. It looks... It's a wide-body kit now. <laughs> but, yeah, um, I won't go into the descriptions of the what happened because I'm assuming you don't want to know it wasn't pleasant hit the roo still wide awake and wide alive the roo was um, it was incapable of hopping I'll just say that um, wouldn't have lived there's no way in hell it would have just died over the next few weeks very very slowly very very painfully um, so I had to drive all the way home which was about 10 minutes away from where I hit the roo Drove all the way back out last night in the dark. And I had to put the roo down. And let's just say I don't have my gun license. So, yeah. I had to put it down in a manner that oh, I wish I don't have to do. But unfortunately, that's what you got to do when you live in Australia. When you live in the country Australia. Out, out back, whatever you want to call it. Because them stupid pricks... They always seem to hop in front of you. This thing had so much time. I like braked as hard as I could. I even I didn't swerve, but I turned on the opposite side side of the road to try to to try and avoid it. Still hit me anyway, and it just kept hopping and hopping. And I'm like, no, no, no. I'm like, it's like I, you know, if it wasn't for ABS, I, I would have had all four tires locked up. Oh, I didn't realise that I had a bit of um. Oh yeah, nice. A bit of our blood there, and believe me, it's not from me. Um, I don't know how freaking far it came back now. I'm assuming I didn't think it slid across the side, but apparently it did. Apparently it slid across, so I'm, it hit it, and it sort of came across a bit, and then fell off, and then managed to make its way off the road. Poor thing. I felt really bad because I'm not a, I'm not an animal killer. You know, I'm not big into killing animals or anything, so. So yeah, that was my experience after I just worked, coming home and dealing with that. It was great. I loved it, you know. Exactly what I want to be doing at the end of the day. So now I've just bought another car. Thank, th thankfully my parents had a cheap car there that I, that I could buy. The Steed here. So I've just bought that. Um, you know, I didn't want to be buying another car at the moment because as I said, I'm trying to save, but... Every time I try to save up and I put every penny away, something always fucking happens that costs me money. Every fucking time. Bit sick and tired of it, if you ask me. But, you know, that's just what life does to you, I guess. It just wears you down as thin as it possibly can and then expects you to keep moving on. <laughs> no, it's not that bad. I understand these things happen. It's just a fucking... It's a pain in the ass because, you know, not that long ago, I just spent two grand on the engine, getting all the timing gear done. I just put new tyres on it about... 10, 15,000 K, Ks ago. They still got, like, the whole life left. Um, I just gave gave it a service. Um, I, I did the spark plugs not that long long ago. So, like, it's, it was well looked after. Not on the outside. Rough as guts on the outside. On the inside, not very good either. Mechanical-wise, it was perfect, man. Like, I couldn't ask for a better car. This is the longest I've ever owned a car. And this is the most reliable car I've ever had. So I've had this for about, I don't know, five, six years. I've hit a room on it before. And I've, on the same side, not as bad. Last time I did it, it wasn't as bad. Last time I did it, I was insured. Um, 
it's fucked a few things up in there, fucked some wiring up, and then my thermo fans weren't working and it overheated and blah blah blah, that doesn't matter. But yeah, it's completely misaligned and put everything out, so it's going to be an interesting project. As much as I wasn't looking at doing a project, I want to get this going again because I really like the car and I really like driving it. So yeah, that's just the joys of living in Australia. You have to deal with them stupid fucking things. Lucky it wasn't AM, you probably would have been fucking five times worse because all their weights at the perfect spot to just fuck everything up. So yeah, yay. Um, that's my video for today. I'm not too ecstatic about it. As you can probably tell, um, it's just fucked it up, man. It really has, like... You know, it's completely dented everything, and as you can see here, all, all the hair is misaligned now, so all here, it's all misaligned down there. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping when we pull everything off, like, I'm just going to scrap this, scrap scrap the fender, scrap the bonnet, scrap the front bar, front front bumper, well not scrap it, fucking throw, throw it away because it's useless, and then I'm going to have a good look, and I pray and I hope that I'm going to be able to fix it, because... I really want that car back because I I just I just like it. It's just a good car. So yeah, that's my video for today. Um Yeah, not exactly a great one, but this is life. These things happen and you just gotta to learn to deal with it and go, you know what? That's there's nothing I can do about it now except fix the car. Or hope hopefully fi fix the car and yeah, that's it. So, I hope you're having a good day. I hope you've had a good day. I hope you're going to have a good day. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all tomorrow.